Today I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux on an external SSD or a USB drive. A full working installation that you can boot on almost any computer. And here's the best part, this method works perfectly as a dual boot setup alongside Windows without touching your Windows installation or your personal files. You can boot into Arch from your external drive or boot into Windows from your internal drive completely separate systems. I'll walk you through every step using Arch install script which makes installing Arch way easier than the traditional manual method. We'll cover downloading the ISO, creating a bootable USB, partitioning the external SSD, configuring the system and booting into your new Arch Linux setup. Even though this method is safe and won't affect your Windows system or personal files, I still recommend backing up any important data just in case. It's always good to play it safe. Here's what you'll need before we begin. We'll need Arch Linux ISO, Rufus for creating a bootable USB, USB drive for the installer, external SSD or USB drive for installation, a PC that can boot from USB, secure boot disabled, and internet connection during installation. To disable secure boot, restart your PC, enter the BIOS or UEFI, usually by pressing F2, ESC, F12 or Dell during the boot. Then go to security or boot tab and disable secure boot. Also make sure your boot mode is set to UFI for modern systems. Let's download Arch Linux and create the installer USB. Go to archlinux.org, link is in the description. Click download. Scroll down and pick a mirror closest to your location for faster download. Download the Arch Linux ISO file. And now Go to rufus.ie and download it. I already have both of these files here. Now open Rufus. Also plug in your installer USB. And now under Rufus, first select your device, USB device. Under boot selection, select and choose the Arch Linux ISO and leave everything as it is. Click start and select write in DD image mode when prompted. Click OK to confirm and wait for it to finish. Now let's prepare the external SSD where we'll install Arch Linux. Plug in your external SSD. We need to make sure that it has the right partition table and check and convert it to GPT if needed. Open disk management in Windows and find your external SSD. Here in my case I have this 256 GB SSD. Right click on the disk label, click properties and then volumes tab. Check if partition style shows GPT or MBR. For UFI system we need GPT. If it shows MBR, we need to convert it. To convert, right click each partition on that disk and select delete volume. Once all the partitions are deleted, right click on the disk label again. And now you can convert to GPT. Here in my case, it's already GPT, so I'm good to go. I'm going to use the entire 256 GB for Arch Linux. All right, time to boot into Arch Linux installer. Make sure both USB and the external SSD are plugged in. And now restart your PC. Press the boot menu key during the startup, usually F12, F10, F9, ESC or delete key depending upon the motherboard. Select your Arch Linux installer USB from the boot menu. You'll see the Arch Linux boot menu. Select the first option Arch Linux install medium and press enter. After a few seconds, you'll be at the Arch Linux command prompt. Don't worry, we are going to use the friendly Arch install script, not the scary manual installation. First, let's make sure we are connected to the internet. Ars needs internet to download packages during installation. To check the connection, you can simply run this command ping space dash c space 3 space and the domain name. Here I'm going to use arslinux.org. If you see replies, you are connected. If not, like in my case, let's connect to a Wi-Fi network. For this, we need to run these commands. First, run the command IWCTL to enter into Wi-Fi configuration tool. And then device list, this shows your Wi-Fi device name, usually WLAN 0. And then station, WLAN 0 scan. This scans for available networks. And then station, WLAN 0, get networks. This lists all the Wi-Fi networks found. Station. WLAN 0 connect and then your Wi-Fi name inside the inverted comma this connect to your Wi-Fi you need to enter the password when prompted and then press exit to exit from IWCTL
now time to start arch install for this run this command arch install and press enter this launches the interactive installation menu now we'll configure everything step by step first option is already set to english perfect just press enter and move down here we set keyboard layout and locale settings choose keyboard layout locale language and locale encoding select your reason for faster downloads mirror reason select i'm going to select nepal in my case optional repositories enable multi lib needed for 32 bit support and some applications and now disk configuration this is very important it is the most critical step we need to select the external ssd not your windows drive select use a best default default partition layout and now select disk choose your external ssd look at the size to identify it mine is 256 gb so i'll select whichever shows 256 gb make absolutely sure you are selecting the external ssd and not your internal windows drive file system select ext4 or btrfs if you want advanced features and leave everything as it is Swap helps with memory management. Select Swap on GRAM for better performance. Bootloader. We'll use Grub, the most popular bootloader. Select Grub. Host name. Give your system a name. Enter a host name like Arch Linux or Arch Portable or whatever you like. Authentication. Now we set up user accounts. Root password. Set a strong root password. Add a user, yes, username, enter your desired username, password, set a strong password, should this be a super user, select yes, confirm and exit. Let's install our desktop environment, inside type, select desktop, desktop environment, select gnome or kde, accept ca, etc, whichever you like, here in my case I'm going to select gnome, graphics driver, Select all open source, this is default and if you have an NVIDIA GPU, select NVIDIA proprietary. Greeter, this is your welcome screen. Select ZDM for GNOME or SDDM if you choose KDE. Let's add some useful applications, Bluetooth, select yes to configure Bluetooth. Audio, select pipe wire for modern audio system. Kernels. Choose the Linux kernel, select Linux LTS long term support which is more stable. Network configuration, this enables networking after installation, select use network manager. Additional packages, let's add Firefox for browsing. You can add more packages separated by spaces. Time zone, select your time zone, I'm going to select Asia, Kathmandu in my case. Automatic time sync, enable automatic time synchronization, select enabled, save configuration, you can save this config for later use but for now we'll skip it, select no, just press enter. Now we're ready to install, select install, Arch install will show you a summary of your all your settings, review everything carefully especially the disk selection, confirm with yes, Arch will now download and install packages, this will take up to 10 to 15 minutes depending upon your internet speed. Now time to grab a coffee. Once the installation completes, you'll see a success message. Installation complete. Now let's reboot and boot into Arch. Now you need to remove the installer USB when the system restarts. And now during the reboot, press your boot menu key again. Select your external SSD. Select Arch Linux and press enter and there we go Arch Linux is booting from external SSD. Enter your username and password, you will be greeted by the GNOME desktop or whichever DE you choose. Welcome to Arch Linux, everything is working perfectly. Now let's make sure Windows is still working properly. Restart your computer, press the boot menu key, select your internal windows drive, windows should boot normally. Perfect, windows boots with no issues, your dual boot setup is working flawlessly. You can switch between arts on your external SSD or windows in your internal drive anytime you want. 
Now in my previous videos, some people asked if I remove the external SSD and try to boot Windows, I just get a grub screen. Here's the fix when you remove the external SSD and boot your computer. If you see the grub screen instead of Windows, don't panic. Just press your boot menu key F12, F10 or whatever it is for your system and manually select Windows Boot Manager from the boot options. Or for a permanent fix, you can go into BIOS settings and then find the boot priority or boot order selection and then move Windows Boot Manager to the first option. This way Windows will boot automatically when the external SSD isn't connected. Once you plug in the external SSD back in, just use the boot menu to select and boot into Arch Linux. And that's it, you have successfully installed Arch Linux on an external SSD with dual boot capability alongside Windows. You now have a portable powerful Linux system that you can take anywhere and your Windows installation remains completely on toast. If you found this video helpful, please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.